I would like to welcome you all formally um, to this event. Um, this is within the Clean Air Project. You hear more about the Clean Air Project from the PI of ECHO later on, and then also from our PI in Lagos, Nigeria here, Dr. Rose Alani. Um, my name is Temi Tokwe Shogbamu. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Lagos, and I'm the founder and lead of the Evidence Use in Environmental Policy Making in Nigeria project. But I also lead the team um, at TCEPSEM on environmental evidence synthesis and knowledge translation. <laughs> today, the main goal of the workshop that we have come here today, that we have called a co-creation workshop, is to develop pan-sectorial recommendation for improving hair quality in Lagos. Therefore, your contributions as key stakeholders matter a lot, and we believe that we can deliver. One of the approach we need to adopt from the federal level, which is going to foster cooperation across states and regions, is the air shed approach. So we need to map out the air shed across Nigeria, and that will foster interstate collaboration and also um, collaboration with other neighboring countries. When it comes to air pollution matters, air, man, air quality management matters, there is need for constant and continuous advocacy. It should be intensified to create awareness to relevant stakeholders, whatever means, workshops, through print media, through radio jingles, and all of that. You'll be amazed at the, uh, the number of the population of people that don't know anything, anything at all, about air quality management. From all what we have said, we are talking about firewood. There are some people that are selling this firewood. What are we doing? If they are selling, that's their source of livelihood. What is an alternative for them? So it's not something that we can just do and clamp down immediately because there will be crisis. So it has to be systematically planned for everybody to be able to survive it. And then we'll gradually shift to the cleaner hair that we're talking about. We had several uh, conversations for the past six hours. And one thing that is very, very strong is this issue of advocacy. It's not like we have not been doing advocacy, but I think we need to rethink how these advocacies are being done. Recently, we had cholera outbreak, and we are hearing about cholera, and it was as if it was very, very far. But each time the NCDC comes out to do advocacy, they bring some kind of animations and cartoonage that we speak to everybody. SEPA is on the top of the game in that if you have any form of pollution, whether water, whether land, whether air, just log into our information complaint, complaint desk, whether through Facebook or through face, we collect and come there to investigate. If there is any issue, we can call upon the parties, give them a resolute no, talk about it, and even give them, if they need you for abatement, we go for abatement and you know, if there is if there's no improvement, we put on a sanction and we enforce. Um, we partner to um, work on stakeholder consultation today. Um, what we're trying to do is to develop a pan-sectorial air quality management recommendations for Lagos as part of the clean air project that is led in Nigeria by Dr. Rose Alani and ECHO on a regional basis. My role in this project has been to actually bring out the key variables that has to do with air quality. Air quality is very important. And as it is now, air quality in Lagos is low. So there's need to understand the factors responsible for air quality. And that can be done when studies 
that have been conducted in air quality are put together before the year is over, this aspect of policy um, recommendations and so on will definitely be in place. We'll be able to put something together and then give it to the government to guide them. Thank <music> you.